Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking text reveal animation in After Effects with these really nice wave effects and it's super simple so I'd say let's just start. So let's go into our new composition and of course let's create a text real quick. I just type in example, then you can press S to scale it up a bit until you like it and also go to the right and align it to the center with this align tab right here. And yeah, now let's animate this thing. So we have to create a new solid first of all, which yeah, has to be above the, the text layer like this. And then we have to go to effects and presets and search for the CC Jaws effect, this one, and just apply it. And then just, yeah, Turn up the completion and as you can see this doesn't look like waves at all so let's change the shape type from spikes to, to waves and also decrease the height like this and the whiteness you can yeah you can put in whatever you like I'll just go with this one and then also make sure the completion is done just so it barely touches the text, so it's not over the text, but right below it or right above it, just like this. Okay, so now let's go right to the beginning and place a keyframe at center and then go forward like two seconds maybe or one and a half, something like this and just bring this up first of all, so the text is fully covered and also bring it to the right a bit. But not too much, just something like this. So we get this animation. And now it's really important that this solid is above the text. So we can actually go to the text and go to the track multi setting and just select this solid above. So now we get this nice effect, just like this. And yeah, maybe this is a bit fast, but yeah, depending on how you place the keyframes for the movement, on the X position, like this one, it depends uh, how fast these waves move. But yeah, this, this is good. Okay, but as you have seen in this example, we have like multiple layers of different colors. And I think this looks really cool. So let's do this as well. So now that we have this done, we can select both of these layers and press right click to pre-compose this thing. And make sure this setting here is selected, the lower one, and just press OK, just like this. And now we have this nice pre-composition. And now we can just duplicate it two times with Ctrl D and just move them on the timeline a bit. So the upper one is right to the right, the middle one is somewhere in the middle, and yeah, the lower one is just at the beginning, just like this. And now we don't see any big difference, but this is because we haven't, because they all have the same color. So let's give the, the upper one a fill effect and just make it white like this. And select the middle one and also give it a fill effect and give it some blue that is in between the kind of dark blue and the right. So just a really light blue maybe just like this and we already have this cool effect maybe they are displaced too much so we can just bring them closer together and now it should look like this and yeah that's it basically thanks for watching and see you next time